uh, it depends on what you count in. There's three albums that came out uh, under different artist names. It's the very first one, it came out under the name Avenger. I always count it in. And then there was in between an album that was uh, made with the Lingua Mons Orchestra that came out under the name LMO, Lingua Mons Orchestra. And a couple of years ago we did a, um, an album under the name Refuge, which is classic lineup from the uh, late 80s, early 90s, this three or three piece lineup. And uh, as there was already an existing band Rage, we couldn't do like two different lineups under the same name, so we picked a different name for this. Uh, side project thing, you know. So if you count everything in, and if you count after Lifelines, as it is a double album, if you count those as two albums, you would be already at 29. <laughs> so I started when, uh, when it, um, we had released the one before, uh, Resurrection Day, in, uh, this was autumn 21, I think. And it was still the pandemic time, the corona pandemic was still raging and I think it was another lockdown or so. So we had to delay our tour that was booked already for this autumn. And at least we had to delay this this tour twice or so. We, we could start this delay a year later. That this, we could start this tour a year later. <laughs> and so we had plenty of time and we used uh, this spare time to write more songs. Just, we were just collecting ideas over and over and over. And a couple of months later, like, Beginning, uh, beginning of summer 22, we realized we have such a big amount of ideas, this would be enough for a double album. So the idea was born, and let's do it. We, have, we never did one in uh, 40 years, you know. Uh, there was already a plan long, year, long ago to have a double album, which was not released, which was not, we couldn't realize the idea. So we said, okay, for the 40th anniversary, now we do this first time. We have enough material, and we, and we want to we split it up in one regular rage album, the power metal style stylistic, which we are um, mostly known for. Plus, uh, the second album is going to be more epic, more on the ep ep epic side of the band with full orchestration and thing. Like the band was also known for by the, the end of the nineties when we did albums like Thirteen or Lingua uh, So uh, this would be something that would reflect, of course, first of all, the, the, the whole stylistic range of the band. Plus, I can imagine it might please a lot of fans, because there's fans that prefer more on this side, some prefer more on the other side. So if, you, if, we have, if we make an album that is connecting everything in, and creating a real climax over two albums, which was the plan, and this would be like the masterpiece. <laughs> uh, this is something that I, uh, you know, I'm coming from these old days, uh, hippie days, and back then bands used to play really long songs. <laughs> and uh, this, uh, I always liked these kind of long, epic, long track things. Uh, we did it here and there on some albums in the past, um, like this 10, 15 minutes uh, tracks. I haven't done this for quite a while. And I thought, well, we have such uh, so much space and so much time on, on two albums. It, this needs a big, long track song, you know. <clears throat> so this uh, this song, Lifelines, was born. Uh, it was hard for me to explain this to my guys, to my boys in the, in the band. I say, well, I'm not used to create songs like this, you know, like, hey, well, the song is already done, you know, the story is told, like, no, it's going to develop a different kind of things you know, it, it needs to get a climax, it needs to break down again and to build it up again and stuff like this, you know. And <clears throat> so in the end, um, this worked out to be um, three different titles. This was a, due to legal reasons um, that we had to split the, had to split it in three titles. But actually they all these three these last three tracks that belong together and this is this grand finale, like you already mentioned. Uh, it's not a, a concept album, like people would call, you know. For a concept album, you would have like a real proper story. You would have characters that uh, work their way through this story. Uh, this is a bit narrowing, you know, I, for my um, belief, you know. So I prefer to have a, like a red line that goes through the songs, like an over topic or so. Um, and this one has has one like already the last album also on Resurrection Day. I 
um, told us the, the story of mankind from the Stone Age when uh, we were still hunters and collectors, and then um, like 10 uh, to 12,000 years ago, uh, people started to settle down, build houses, build cities, build bigger um, unities, you know, uh, build possession and everything. And from this point to uh, to uh, nowadays, uh, it was uh, the cultural evolution that we all know that led to plenty of problems on this uh, planet. And on the new album now, after Lifelines tells, um, it's a kind of fictional, dystopic view in the future, the next hundred years or so. This could happen if we don't learn it now and if we don't change a little bit our habits and our behavior. Um, like I said, it's more dystopic, but this is not my personal belief. Uh, I am always hopeful and I hope that the younger generation they will find solutions for all these problems. But take it like a memento mori. <laughs> the upward shows pretty much this kind of end wartime scenario, which uh, if you look <laughs> if you look to the to some certain parts in Europe right now, you will find it already here. <laughs> yeah, it's kinda unbelievable. Right? When I think about it, it's, uh, it appears strange to me. What, I've, what do I feel about it? It's basically, main of all, is uh, I'm very grateful that, it, uh, that I had the chance to live my whole life with what I love, with doing this music that I love, which is um, definitely not the normal, I think. Yeah. I know this is due to the fans, it is true, the true fans that uh, support the band since decades. Well, thank you very much <laughs> from here. Yeah, of course we we have we will celebrate in separate ways, you know, like uh, this double album, for example. This is one of the the big presents we want to give to the fans this year. We will tour, of course, worldwide. We will have plenty of special shows. There's going to be a couple of orchestrated shows where we play with the live orchestra. Also, it's going to be guest appearances uh, here and there on festival shows. With um, where also. All the members of the band appear. There's going to be a rich biography, biography um, book coming out I think by October. Yeah, <laughs> this is already a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, this, the current lineup works really, very, really, very well. We had a little problem. Uh, people might remember of the, of the last one, it was a four piece lineup. Uh, one of the guitar players, Stefan, is taking a break since last summer due to very personal reasons, he has some health problems that um, he has to solve by himself. He's not out of the band, he's still officially a member of the band. We keep the door open for him and just wait till he feels like he could work again with us. It's up to him. It may take one year, two years, I don't know. However, uh, whenever he feels like he's, uh, we, we see that he's uh, able to, work, to, to, to do this again. He'll be back. Until then, we will just re uh, continue as a three-piece band. It used to be a three-piece band for most of those uh, four decades, so we are used to it. And Gene makes a perfect job also as a single guitar player. Yeah, I, I can work with the guys very, very good. Um, <clears throat> Lucky's already now nearly 10 years in the lineup, and I know him since 1988. He's a real old friend. I've, Fantastic drama. He's taking care of all the business belongings of the band. Uh, Gene is, of course, our baby. <laughs> he could be my son. He's all my age. Uh, but this uh, doesn't mean anything. As a, as a musician, he has a really good understanding in music. He feels and uh, thinks about music very, very much like me, like I do. You know, when we sit down and uh, exchange ideas, this is just going so quick, you know. I, I play something on the guitar, he just takes it over and he plays something to me and I have you know, get my ideas exactly in this moment on this, you know. I, I've worked with plenty of guitar players and with some it works better, with some not so good, you know. For example, I worked a long time with, with a Russian guitar player. Uh, we couldn't really write together in that, that we would like just throw the balls to each other, the, uh, the ideas to each other. In this case, we he did his stuff, I did my stuff, and in the end, we just brought up everything together. And so, 
half of the album was my compositions and the other half was his, which is also a way that you can work, of course, but I like, I prefer it this way, you know, that we are just sitting together and throwing the ideas to each other and that's why we give uh, composition credits just in general, like, like it, the Beatles have done is Lennon McCartney, you know, they, they never really sorted out which was, your, which was your idea, which was my idea, whatever, you know. They just said, okay, everything we're going to do under this name, under the band, Beatles, it's going to be Lennon McCartney, you know, whenever we, we did together. <clears throat> so that's the same I do with Gene because it's hard to find out after we have collected all this stuff, you know, like which was your idea, which was mine, you know, and this is boring, you know, in the end, we did, we did it together, you know. Uh, and same with like with the first album, you know, it's it's your baby, you and this is now the moment of birth, <laughs> which is uh, very taking very much energy and very much. Uh, yeah, you're, you're a bit nervous, like how will the people react to this? You know, even if it's like already the 30s release, the 30s album, you never get used to this, you know, and. Um, to the moment when it's out, and then you just let it go, you know, and then it makes its own life, you know. <laughs>